I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I'd wager to say you have a KitchenAid mixer. One might also assume that you already have an Everdime and that you followed this QR code to the video that we linked this video to. So I'm sure you've noticed before that when you're mixing, the head of your mixer just bounces really bad like this. This is bad for a few reasons. First, when your machine bounces up and down, it adds a lot of excess vibration to the system. There's a lot of set screws in there that end up getting out of place over time just due to all that bouncing. Take a look at this machine here. Look at how much head bounce there is there. You know, it does a lot of things. Like, for example, now this pin is gonna slide in and out because it just knocked all of the set screws loose. So when you have this bounce here, it allows the head to sit too low in the bowl, which then the attachments will start to rub the bottom of the bowl. Take a look at this paddle. It's been rubbing the bottom of the bowl for so long that it actually just ripped all of the enamel off and it actually even started to eat into the metal. You can see that there's some divots in the metal itself. But have no fear, the Everdyme actually protects your mixer from all of these issues. We'll show you how to install it real quick. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is locate this screw right here in the neck. All you're gonna need for this job is a flathead screwdriver. So we'll take it and we'll go ahead and we'll remove this screw. Remember, lefty loosey. So this screw is now removed, but if you accidentally drop it down, have no fear. You can just go ahead and lower the head just like so, and it'll come out underneath the base just like that. All right, now that we have the screw removed, we wanna take note. Let's take a look at this real quick. So as you can see right here, down in this screw channel, there's a little divot there. So we've designed the Everdyme to have this little stem on it right here. And this actually fits perfectly right into that little divot. Now one thing to note, just to avoid cross-threading this screw when you install it, is to make sure that you, you take note of the angle that this screw is going to be going into place. You do want to install this in nice and straight just to make sure that we're not cross-threading and damaging the threads on the inside of the machine. Now, if you do accidentally end up cross-threading, pretty uncommon, but they make this handy little tool. It's called a tap, and this is one quarter by 28 thread count. And basically, you just run this tap down through those threads to help re-thread the machine so that the screw will go back in properly. Now that we've discussed that, we're ready to install. Super easy. The first step you want to do is simply take your screw and slide it through the flat side of the Everdyme, like so. Okay, now we are ready to install. So simply all we're gonna do is uh, take the Everdyne, put it right up here into this little slot. And like I said, make sure you get it in there. Make sure that your angle is looking nice, looking nice and straight there. And we're gonna go ahead and start screwing it into place. Now, if you start to meet resistance, you'll wanna stop and make sure that you're actually going in straight. If you're meeting resistance, that means you're probably starting to cross thread. If it's going in nice and smooth, well, then it's smooth sailing. Okay, the goal here is to screw this down far enough to where you see the head of the screw start to actually bite into the surface of that Everdyme like so. As you can see, the head of the screw has actually receded a little bit into the Everdyme. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna make sure that the elasticity of that rubber is biting onto the head of that screw to make sure that it can no longer move in and out through vibration. It's a set it and forget it. Once you have the screw screwed into this point, we're gonna go ahead and put our bowl onto the machine and then you're gonna wanna locate a dime. What we're gonna be doing here is called the dime test. So we're gonna throw a dime into the bottom of the bowl like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our paddle. I'm gonna put it on the machine. Now we're ready to simply drop the head down into place. Now, speaking of drop, with this being receded, the rubber is actually the first thing that contacts us. So if you do accidentally drop the head, it's cushioned. So the goal of this is to adjust that screw so that when you drop the head down, lock it into place, the paddle just barely passes over the head of this dime and gives it a little flick. Take a look at how the paddle passes over the head of that dime and just gives it a little touch on each rotation. Having your paddle just a dime's height off the bottom of the bowl is gonna do a few things for you. First, as discussed, it's gonna eliminate almost all of that head bounce. It's also going to protect your attachments. But lastly, it's gonna make sure that you're not having un any unincorporated ingredients in the bottom of the bowl. Now, if it's set too high, you're gonna have a lot of ingredients that aren't getting mixed up. And if it's set too low, it's gonna be rubbing and damaging your attachments. So, having adjust that dime's height, make sure that everything gets mixed in perfectly. This concludes the install of the Everdyne. Now, if you wanna go a little further to protect your machine, we do have a few other products. First off, is the spring and washer. Yeah, this right here on the beater shaft. They actually took these off in 2016. They help to keep your paddles on straight, make sure that everything's running smoothly. And lastly, our newest product, our pedestal mat. So these mats are actually designed to mitigate vibration. As your machine runs, it emits vibration, generally goes down into the hard countertop, and then through the path of least resistance, right back up into your machine. But what the mat does is it allows that vibration to disperse across the surface, thus eliminating a lot of that excess vibration. Now it's also anti-slip. Take a look at this. She ain't going nowhere. The anti-slip property is gonna do a great job protecting your machine 
from walking off the edge of the counter. They also go a long ways helping to accent your machine, as they come in gray, black, white, and red. If you're interested in any of these products, we actually have them available on our website, and then we also have the how-to installs on our YouTube as well. Thanks a million for sticking around to the end of the video. If you got an Everdyne, make sure to comment. Let us know how you like it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. More great Mixer videos to come.